Hello everybody and uh, welcome again to the lecture series of linear algebra. So in this session what I want to do is we will explore the notion of a matrix obviously outside of the context of a surprisingly outstanding movie that involves Kanu Reeves and uh, there is a relationship between the movie which is about a virtual reality constructed by super smart computers and the notion of a matrix is uh, when you study it in mathematics uh, or when you study it in computer science and the connection really is that matrices are used a lot when you are simulating several things in computer science especially in computer graphics or in convolutional neural network so the super intelligent robots that made the matrix in the movie matrix were probably using matrices in order to do it if they actually did exist yeah now what is a matrix then well that's a very fairly simple answer a matrix you can think it as a organization of numbers maybe real numbers or complex numbers into rows and columns okay you can also think matrix as an augmentation of vectors yeah so let's take an example of a matrix how does it looks like so let a be a matrix and i simply organize the numbers in this way let's say One, two, minus one, three, four, five. So you see, here we have some rows, some columns, yeah. So which one we call rows? The row is this horizontal one, okay, and the columns is this the vertical one. So here we have. Two rows, yeah. This is row one and this is row two, and we have three columns. First column. This one is second column, and this one is third column, yeah. Similarly, you can also divide row in this way. So we have two rows. and three columns and we define this matrix in this way that a is a matrix that have two rows and three columns and we write this as here as a suffix so that everybody can understand the size of the matrix a whenever you say some matrix then the notion of size comes okay so you say a is a matrix so what is its size it is in this case 2 by 3 a is a 2 by 3 matrix when you say this to somebody they will automatically understand that a has two row and three column now the question is that if we want to extract some element of a then how could we do this well let's say we want some particular element at one two position first row and second column now see where these two line are intersecting it is intersecting at this position yeah therefore the element which is at the 1 2 position of this matrix is this one okay is 2 similarly what is the element at 2 3 position which is in the second row and third column so where this line are intersecting it is intersecting here therefore the elements which is at 2 3 position is 
5. Usually, we denote this in this way. Similarly, in this case, this is a 2 comma 3. Okay, let's take another example. Suppose B is a matrix, let's say minus 1, 2, 3, minus 10, 4, 5, 1, 3, 2, 7, minus 7, minus 6. Now, how many rows are here? We have 1, 2, 3. There are 3 rows, therefore, We have three rows and how many columns are there? One, two, three, four. There are four columns. Therefore, B is a three by four matrix. Size of B is three by four. Now, if we want to extract the elements, let's say two, three. What we are going to do? Two and three. Where does this two line intersecting? It is inter intersecting here. Therefore, B23 is the element 1. Similarly, let us take any arbitrary, let us say uh, 2, 4. We will just draw the line here. 2, 2 is here and 4. So, this one. 3. Okay, I hope you have understood this, what is matrix, what is its size and how to extract any element given the positions of that element from the matrix, yeah. Now, what I am going to do is, I am giving you an assignment. Let us define few matrices here. We choose alpha equals 1, 2, 3, 4, beta equals 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 1, minus 2, 7, 8. These are randomly chosen number. You can try anything you want. Okay. So, the question here is, you have to determine the size of each of this matrix. What is the size of alpha? There are two rows, there are two columns. Therefore, it is a 2 by 2 matrix. What is the size of beta? There are 2 rows and how many columns are there? There are 4 columns, therefore it is a 2 by 4 matrix. What is the size of gamma? 2 row, 2 column, therefore 2 by 2. Size of delta? It is 3 by 1 because 3 row and 1 column. Size of lambda? It is 1 by 5 because there are 1 row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, there are 5 columns and it is simply a number but therefore only 1 row and 1 column. So, it is a 1 by 1 matrix. Now, observe the differences between all of these matrix. A matrix can be of various sizes, yeah. But, can you find any similarities between the matrix alpha, the matrix gamma and the matrix mu? Notice that they have same number of rows and same number of columns. Yeah, it has two rows and two columns. Same row, same column. It also has two rows and two columns. It also has same row, same column. Maybe their size are different, but number of rows and number of columns are equal. This type of matrices has a special name and they are called as square matrix. On the other hand, the matrix that does not have equal number of rows and columns like this, here number of rows and columns are not equal or is here. This type of matrices are named as rectangular matrix. Square matrices possess several interesting properties. 
and our lecture will be mostly focused on square matrices only. But today I am going to illustrate some interesting properties of matrix and this is true for any type of matrix whether it is square matrix or rectangular matrix it doesn't matter. So the first interesting thing is matrix addition how to add two matrix. Well the most important thing is you cannot do any basic arithmetic operation with matrices unless they have equal sizes okay. For example addition you cannot add alpha with beta because their size are not equal. It is not possible to add alpha with delta also or else beta plus delta is not possible because size of beta and size of delta is not equal. Therefore, in this case, you can add alpha only and only with gamma because their sizes are equal. So, alpha plus gamma. How one define the addition of two matrices? The first important thing is they should have to be equal size. Only then we can add. And how we are going to proceed in this case? 1, 2, 3, 4 plus minus 1, minus 2, 7, 5. The addition is very simple. We need to add the corresponding element. So it is like 1 plus of minus 1. That is the element. So we can add only the first entry. That is 1, 1 entry will be the corresponding 1, 1 element of each of the matrix 1 1 entry of alpha plus 1 1 entry of gamma 1 plus minus 1 similarly here the next entry is our 1 2 entry of alpha plus 1 2 entry of gamma and this gives 2 plus minus 2 Similarly, this one will be 3 plus 7 and this one will be 4 plus 5. This gives 0, 0, 10, 9. Now, we have seen scaling of vector and matrix is an augmentation of vector. Therefore, scaling of matrix is also possible. Let's take any number, say half. What is half of A? It is nothing but we need to multiply each of the element of A with this number. This is like this 1 times half, 2 times half, 3 times half and 4 times half. And this gives half 1, 3 by 2. Not only this, you can multiply any matrices, beta, gamma, lambda or whomever you want by any scalar number and the procedure is just like this. For example, if you multiply delta with 3, then this is just like 1 times 3, 4 times 3, minus 1 times 3, okay. Let's move on to subtractions of matrices. Again, the questions of sizes is coming here. We cannot uh, subtract any two matrix unless they have same size. And once they have same size, the procedure is just like the addition. Instead of plus, here this our symbol is minus and what we are going to do? We are going to subtract the corresponding element. Okay. So this is just 1 minus of minus 1, this one, this one, 2 minus of minus 2, this one, this one, 3 minus 7, this one, this one, 4 minus 5, this one and this one.
observe that the scaling the subtraction or even the addition all this thing does not change the size of the resultant matrices yeah this is the reason behind that you cannot add any matrices that have random sizes okay 